welcome to Apple TV and the host of Lego Kelly. Today with me I have my gorgeous girlfriend, Foxy Melanchie. Welcome! <laughs> she flew out all the way from Detroit. How was that, my dear? It was a little long of a flight, but it was it was good. I'm glad to have come. We stopped uh, not far from LAX, got some sippies, got yeah. a good vibe going. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. The, this is the only time I've ever actually felt small next to anybody. Look at these <laughs> girls. They're fucking amazing. They're awesome. <laughs> Tell me about how this whole plastic surgery journey started because everybody has a story and right. I know people are interested to know yours. So tell yeah. me. Um, I had been married for several years and I was with him for about 19 years. A long time. So it was, it was a difficult marriage. Um, and when I went through the divorce. I went through a lot of other things as well. Hmm. So major everything kind of major life changes and everything kind of happened at once. So the best thing that I could think of to do was sit down and make a list. So on that list, I wrote down every single thing that I could think of, no matter how ridiculous it sounded like, like it wouldn't possibly happen. I still wrote it on the list. That's awesome. Like an outrageous idea or thought that you're like, oh, yeah. that'll never come true. Yeah, I want to change this. I want to do this. I don't hmm. want to do this. And so I made this huge list, and it was the hardest list I've ever written in my life oh, because it was, very, it was very difficult to write. But what ended up happening was is after I got my divorce, I started to wake up, and I started to become me again Dang. and one at a time mm -hmm. I knocked off each thing on the list until I had no list left awesome so, but it seems to be like Santa's list because I <laughs> seem to keep adding <laughs> more on that list hey <laughs> Santa <laughs> <Yeah>. hey Santa <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, we're not asking too much I know <laughs> what was the thing that stands out the most for you when you were making the list that you were like, oh, I don't believe that could happen, but I'm going to put it on there. Um, the, the surgeries, really. Really? Yeah. Did you always want to get surgeries and the ex I never really, really wanted did, you and to? He, yeah, he you wanted added. there. What have you added that you haven't? I want my ass done. <laughs> I saw your ass and it's great. What are you talking about? But yeah, I'm not happy with it. Oh so, my gosh, are you me? We are, there's always something fixed. we could tweak. Yeah, I'm, I want to get a fat transfer along with the implants. The implant, right. right now I had three fat transfers oh done. Oh my gosh, awesome. So, but it's not to your satisfaction. Right. So bigger, 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 is that what we're trying to do? I, I want round, you know? Well, yeah, just yeah, like I the really boobs. Want it. Yeah, you want it's got a balance. You are so me. I love it. That's exactly what it is. If you're big up top, you got to be big down yeah. in the bottom and then make sure we see that waist. Yeah. Speaking of which, you tried on a two-piece dress that looks like a one-piece. Yeah, I, I love it. It's like, it's life-changing because otherwise it's I'm like you, you tug each direction on a dress and it's like your own game of tug of war. Like all day <laughs> long and trying to get dead. Trying to get that right look, but then you have this seamless look. This looks really great on you. You feel good in this? Yeah, I You love look it. fabulous. Right, you went through these great changes just recently. Mm -hmm. Tell tell me what you did for work and what this this whole like uh, uh, transformation that's taken, yeah. taken place recently. Um, I'm an interior designer. And I've been redoing showrooms for several, several years, probably about 22, 23 years. Awesome. You must be good at it if you've done it for that long. Yeah. Yeah. I've awesome. really, honestly, I've enjoyed it. So making this decision recently was very unexpected for me. Um, but I'm very, very excited about the things that are coming up yeah. and how things are starting to change. and and move along oh, so great. so you put in your two weeks notice at work week notice so that this i can girl, take care I like of that yeah, yeah exactly so you're building this whole online persona and people mm -hmm. are coming to you i can't budget. wait to get her to meet my investors in london that will be like they've already seen a picture of you to be tell you the truth and then he, he was like what and here's emmy emmy Hi. this is foxy hey. this is my girl em good to oh, see yeah. you beautiful mm. nice to see you how is palm springs hi, hi. This is nice emmy. to meet you um i started off with um of course wanting my boobs done first 
So go figure. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Everyone goes through a divorce is like, that's it. I'm getting my boots. <laughs> <laughs> so I started off with my first one, and I had heard that if you go to do a, bro a boob job, that you want to max it out because most people do not do enough, and then they regret it. What have I said forever? It, it doesn't fill out all the way, and it's not it's not quite right. So I, that's what I did, and I wanna say it maxed out at like maybe 375. Mm. Um, within three months, I had gotten my second boob job. Three months she <laughs> went from. So do you think you could have gone bigger in the first boob job at all? Um, I, well, I would have liked to, but the, the surgeon that I had, um, he limited. I'm going to say he probably he could have gone bigger. Yeah. Second boob job was how big? A thousand. So you went from 375 mm -hmm. to a thousand cc's in Three from months. first to second. In, okay. Ladies, it can be done. <laughs> and do you have children? I have one son. Okay, so it's not like she'd had all these kids and breastfed a bunch of a uh, bunch of women. <laughs> yeah, where's, no. where's my brain at? <laughs> a bunch of kids, you know, you were terribly stretched out kind mm -hmm. of thing. So it's possible. So from there, what happened? I decided to go to Florida and um, have two thousands put in because I thought, okay, a thousand's not enough. I want to go bigger. I'm going to double. I know. That's what I, I do. Boob grade. I'm going to so. double. <laughs> so I'm just going to go for 2000 then I'm going to be happy. Right. But there was complications with that. Oh. Um, and I almost died. So scary. It was, it was very scary. Um, so I wanted to find the best in the world that would be able to fix it. And um, how much longer after that, two th the 2000 CC experience in Florida, did you get the bigger ones? Um, that was a little while because I kept trying to heal it and it wasn't Scary. healing and it wasn't healing and found out why later that it wasn't mm -hmm. healing. What but, was the um, reason? Do you mind sharing that with us? Um, he used the wrong sutures and he yeah. also did not perform all the surgery that he said. Oh, that you so, paid for. Right. I paid for an internal bra okay. and it turns out that it was not put in so you know you said you went to Miami to a, a doctor and we don't have to say who it is but I wonder and I've heard I've had a girlfriend who actually was gonna go get her butt done there in a clinic yeah. and but that had like eight deaths in in the you know year and she's just, I just wonder if there's so many surgeries going on if they're performing more surgeries and it's kind of like a quantity right. versus quality right. sort of thing. So they're, they're just cranking the them out. Exactly. Right. You're assembly lining. Mm -hmm. So you're just getting the women's money and pushing them through and not really caring too much about the aftercare, right. not caring if it's the right surgery for the right girl. Right. So, or the right surgeon for the right job. It, which is exactly what mm -hmm. Acol Industries and Boob Jobs for Mom does is try to yeah. match the right surgeon for the right woman for the right procedure. And I really think that speaks to having this network of women who've had mm -hmm. the experiences, who've gone down and done the research and said, hey, stay away from this one. This might be good for this, but it won't be good for that. Right. And actually really saying, hey, let's band together, find the doctors that can work best for the surgery that we want so we can help each other right. out and well, save each other all these when issues. You're, when you're researching a lot of the surgeries, when you're saying, okay, I wanna have this done, it is so hard to find anything out That's there. That's true. That's true. And so, a lot of women won't speak right. about it because they don't want right. to even say, yeah, I had that done or I had a negative experience because you're embarrassed mm -hmm. or whatever. Women that are banding together saying, hey, mm -hmm. girl, I know, I know what it's like to have boobs. And I went to this doctor and speaking on and sharing that information so that you feel a real support. Yeah. So continue. We got to how many CCs are we at now? The 2,000 right, CCs. That was at 2,000. Then what happened from there? So then I... I found the best surgeon that I could find, um, and I went to Belgium, so I went for boobs and, and boobs waffles. Boobs in Belgium. Yeah. <laughs> um, Were there waffles? Because we know there, there's boobs. There was. There was, there was a whole <laughs> argument over it, and yes, there, there's definitely waffles, and they're fantastic. <laughs> Did wow, since I was going to have surgery done anyways, why not make them bigger? Well, <laughs> <And> that, naturally. <laughs> naturally. So I got the the 2000 shell CC implants put in, but they're expanders, so I'm able to fill them up. So he filled them up at that time in December, 
to 3,000 cc's. She went from 2,000 to 3,000 with the expanders, ladies, you hear, heard it here first. Expanders are the best way to go. Yeah, it really is. I think it's the way that everyone's gonna start to go with their implants. Oh, I agree. Um, and then from there, I've, I've filled up to 4,900 so far. Since December, so we went from 3,000, yeah. got, you've gone up 1,900 cc's per breast in seven months. Yeah. Look at her. I've yeah. never felt dwarfed in my life, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. ask Em over here, Em, you've never seen my boob, you've never seen my boobs look small? Now look at them. Everyone look. I'm the little person in the room. That's right. Do surgery is concerned. This booty implant, have you thought about how big you want to go and how can we help? Made an appointment recently so that I at least have a date. I have a very long wait for it. When is it? Um, it is May 5th. So Cinco oh. de Mayo, I get an ass. Yay. Yay. Hey, you're going to have a party on that day. I'll have a shot of tequila just for you. Or maybe 12. <laughs> That's exciting. Yeah. You're looking forward to it, I'm sure. I'm, I cannot wait. Okay, so now, how big are you going to be going with the titties? Um, right now, 6,000 sounds really good. But so 1,100 more. The, the problem right is, is like every time you hit a number, it's like, oh well, maybe six five, <laughs> you know, and then six five is so close to oh, seven. Oh, Foxy's <laughs> got the booby <laughs> greed. Foxy's got the. I remember Em over here when she was like, "What six hundred? I'll think about going to eight hundred, not a thousand. I just locked, looked at the video, and now she's like, "I think I need to go to fourteen hundred or fifteen hundred. I'm like, you start to see yourself and think, I'm flat, or, yeah. oh gosh, what, my boobs aren't that big until you well, see video. The problem is, is when you look down, you see, like, you can't see beyond the event horizon. Yeah, you're it's true, you just see here. the cleavage. and then So you're like, oh, I'm flat. That's why I say when I looked at <laughs> a video of me taken the other day and I was in a white shirt, I was like, oh my gosh, my boobs are big. And it really doesn't occur to you because you I just know. get used to them. Get used to dressing them and inching yourself yeah. into outfits, so I totally get it. Well, thank you for coming. Mm. I really appreciate you sharing your journey with us. You're just a delight. You've been so much fun to be around. Your energy is lighthearted, you're kind, you're genuine soul, and your insides definitely match the outside. Aw, thank you, honey. You're I, welcome. I love being here. Thank you for oh, having me. You're welcome. You're such a joy. <laughs> Signing off, guys. Bye. Bye.